Media.net is an online advertisement service like Google AdSense. It belongs to Yahoo Company. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to register with Media.net, how to set up ad units, how to add ads.txt entry and how to set up payment methods. Ok let's start. First go to this URL. I will put this link in video description. Also, it's my referral link. If you register through it you will get 10% more earnings for first 3 months. Click get started today. Fill your website address that you're going to display ads. Then your email address and country. Do the human verification. Tick here and sign up. Ok, now we successfully applied for media.net ads. They will inform you whether your website is approved or not within 2 days. If you have a genuine website with few articles, it's not difficult to get the approval. You will get an email like this when they approve. After receiving the approval, we have to set a password for our account. For that go to media.net. Click sign in. Click forgot password. Type your email and click send reset email. Then you will get an email like this. Go through that link and set a new password. Ok now again go to media.net and sign into your account using that password. Ok this the dashboard of our account. Now we're going to add the ads.txt to your website. For that go to ads.txt settings. Click view and copy the code. Now go to your website admin panel. We're going to add the ads.txt using a plugin. Search this plugin called ads.txt manager. Install and activate it. Then go to ads.txt and settings menu. Paste the text we copied before from media.net and save it. Click the refresh button here. You must see optimized if you did the procedure correctly. Ok let's add header code to your website. Click add units on the menu. Click get code. It doesn't matter what ad you choose, same header code for all. This is a one time procedure. You don't have to repeat this. Ok copy the head code. We're going to use another plugin to insert the header code to head of your website. Search insert headers and footers. Install and activate the plugin. Then open the plugin. It's under the settings menu. Now paste the code copied early from media.net and save it. Now install and activate this plugin also. It's called Quick AdSense. Don't worry about the name, it will do the work. We are going to use this to insert ad codes to the posts of your website. Ok open the plugin, it has its own icon on the menu. Then go again to the add units section of media.net and choose what ads do you want display on your website. And remember, you can't insert same ad code more than once. It doesn't matter same ad type or not, you have to create new ad code.
notes. I've already created few ad codes here. Okay now copy ad code you hope to add to your site. Go to the ads on post body tab of the plugin and paste it there. You have few ad slots here, add all the ad codes one by one, and remember again, you can't add the same ad code more than once. Now click save changes. Choose how much ads you want to display at once in a page. Now select at what parts of your posts do you want to display ads. Select the ad number from drop down menu. Ad numbers represent the ad slots we pasted the ad codes before. OK save them. If you want to display an ad at your sidebar, now I'm going to show you how to do it. First copy ad code with suitable width. Then go to the sidebar widget tab and plug in. Paste it and save changes. Now open WordPress widgets settings. You can see there's a widget here called Quick AdSense. Drag and drop it your sidebar. Now go to your site and open an article. If you followed the instruction properly you will see ads are displaying in the post and sidebar. Ok then let's set up payment settings of media.net. To do that go to the payment settings under payments on the menu. Here you will see all the payment options depend on your country. Choose your option and add your bank account or online wallet account. After few days you could see performance of ad units from the dashboard of your media.net account. If you have any problem you can ask it using email us option. Every account gets their own account manager. They will reply to you within few days. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you think this was helpful to you. Subscribe the channel for more videos related to WordPress.